there. Do you ever find yourself wishing your spouse was different than they are? I know I do sometimes. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Chris Rich and I'm a life coach. I love to help members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints who are looking to make their mixed faith relationships not just work, but to thrive. I am an active believing member in my own mixed faith marriage. So for this week's Thursday thought, I want you to humor me for just a minute. I want you to imagine that you've been given Broadway tickets and they are the best, most expensive seats in the whole house. So right there before your eyes, you have world-class performers dressed to the nines, sharing a story through their beautiful music and their skilled choreography. Can you imagine this? It sounds amazing. Well, instead of watching this incredible performance that's going on right in front of you, I want you to pretend that you have your nose stuck in the script of how it should be done instead of actually watching what's going on in front of you. And I hope you're thinking, oh my word, Chris, I would never do that. What a waste. That's just not, why would you do that? But I want to offer that sometimes we do this with our very own spouses. We get so focused on the person that we think that they should be that we miss out on the person that they really are. We fall in love with a different version of them and we disconnect from the person who is right in front of us. Sometimes we are so attached to plan A that we miss out on all the beauty that's available in plan B and we miss out on really getting to know and to connect with our person. It's just something to be aware of. If you could use some help with your expectations, and we all have them, go check out episode 30 of the Mixed Faith Relationship Podcast, where I talk more about that. And if you could use some some more help in your mixed faith relationships, go check out my website, chrisrichcoaching.com, all one word, and click on the link to get my Mixed Faith Friday emails. And I will see you next week for another Thursday Thought. Make a great week, my friends.